Welcome to The Dream Show. I'm Jane Theresa Anderson and this is episode 263-263. And this is one of those episodes where we don't have a guest because many of you tell me that although you love listening to guests having their dreams interpreted, you do like from time to time to have a slightly different format where you learn a little bit more about interpreting your own dreams or just gain a little inspiration from a slightly different direction. So in the lead up to Christmas, Christmas, we thought this would be appropriate today. And the theme I've picked today is the, revolves around the question of who can interpret your dream? Can you interpret it? Can someone else interpret it? Who can interpret it? And also, I'm including a few tips so that you can maybe understand your dreams a little bit more than you do at the moment. And as usual with this format, I like to do it by picking some blogs that I've already written, maybe recently or maybe years ago in the past, to illustrate the point and to read them out to you. And I'm starting with one called, Can You Interpret My Dream? And this blog was written in July 2022 for the Dream Academy. Now, some of you may not realize that I write, I have two blog roles. One is at the Dream Academy and one is at Jane Teresa. Dot com. So before we go there, I'll give those website addresses. <laughs> JaneTeresa.com, that's Teresa without an H, is where you can go not only to read hundreds of blogs about dreams and dreaming, but also to listen to every episode of the dream show that's ever been, all 263 episodes and counting. JaneTeresa.com is also where you go if you want to find out about my books or if you want to consult me personally, perhaps on a Zoom call or maybe by email. And the other website, the Dream Academy, the address for that is dream-academy-online.com. And that's the e-learning platform. That's where you can go to do courses that I have designed in your own time, at your own pace, around all subjects around dreams. So this first blog that I'm going to read out to you, Can You Interpret My Dream? I wrote for the Dream Academy in July 2022. So you can go and, and look at the, the written version if you're inspired to do so after listening to the spoken version. So here we go. It's probably fair to say that until they learn a little bit about the nature of dreams, most people have absolutely no idea what their dreams mean. Yet they're fascinated. They want to know. Who can they ask? Somewhere in this big and beautiful world, a dream group is in progress. Nine people sit in a circle, perhaps around a soothing candle in the fading evening light. One has just shared her dream about jumping from a high cliff into the sea, diving deep before coming up for air and finding herself cradled in the arms of a strong swimmer with a soulmate glint in his eyes. A talking stick is passed to the woman on her left. If this were my dream, she says, I would be thinking about taking a leap of faith. The talking stick changes hands. If this were my dream, offers the next voice, I would want to do a deep dive into my emotions before deciding what to do next. The stick continues its journey. If this were my dream, a deeper voice intones, I'd be wondering what I'm jumping from. What am I leaving behind? The dreamer's eyes slide to the next person in the circle. A younger voice pipes up. If this were my dream, I'd be reflecting on what I've got myself into and whether I'll survive. A croaky voice follows. If this were my dream, I'd be pondering why I've got myself into something so deep that I need to come up for air to break through in some way. The dreamer leans forward as a willowy woman reaches for the stick. If this were my dream, her shaky voice tentatively whispers, I'd be exploring what makes me feel safe, what gives me that cradled feeling. The dreamer nods, stares into the flickering candle as the final person takes the proffered stick. If this were my dream, the confident tone resonates within the sacred space, I'd ask myself if I'm hoping for rescue instead of making my own way through life's choppy seas. 
All eyes are now on the dreamer as she folds the warmed talking stick to her heart. Thank you. You've all given me plenty to contemplate. I feel that the swimmer is my future soul mate. I'll never forget his eyes. I'll recognise them again when I find him. She extinguishes the candle, the closing ritual. An almost audible sigh ripples around the circle, the darkness concealing an inevitable eye roll or two. Eight heartfelt and useful offerings extinguished by the dreamer's belief that the man in her dreams was out there somewhere waiting for her. The if this were my dream approach is one that many dream groups adopt. While it can offer helpful openings for exploration, it's largely based on an idea that only the dreamer recognises the true meaning of their dream. If the members of the group are well educated in dream work, their individual perspectives may be well informed, their offerings carefully worded to engage the dreamer in meaningful reflection. In my fictitious example, I imagine some giving knowledgeable, helpful offerings, while others' perspectives clearly reflected their personal responses to the dream scenario. I also assigned the imaginary dreamer a blind eye or streak of denial. She didn't really want to open to more symbolic interpretations of her dream. She wanted affirmation that she had dreamed of her soulmate, a real person with an identifiable physique, someone to search for. But it's unlikely that she'll find him in this exact guise. Our dreams introduce us to parts of ourselves, conscious or unconscious. Her dream group companions offered her avenues to discover this part of herself. She chose not to travel those paths. Does a dreamer have the last say on the meaning of their dream? Well, yes, of course. Our fictitious dreamer found something meaningful to herself in the dream. She valued the idea that a soulmate was out there and she was destined to find him. Whether or not this is true... It gave her a sense of meaningful purpose. It's sad, though, that she missed the opportunity for the greater reward of understanding her mindset and transforming it in healing ways to open her to live her best life. Dreams, when approached with the right tools and techniques, reveal the dreamer's mindset. The revealed mindset, conscious and unconscious, helps the dreamer to understand why they experience life in the way that they do and what they can do to change this if needed. Dreams reveal our limiting beliefs, our unresolved issues that affect our responses to life, the lens through which we view and interact with the world. Our dreams also reflect our progress, breakthroughs, healing and offer fertile ground for creative problem-solving. If you have the right tools and techniques, you can sit down and interpret your own dreams. As with all tools and techniques, it may take practice until you become fluent, but every little step you take is a step toward unfolding the meaning of your dream and gaining confidence in your growing abilities. But can someone else interpret your dreams? If they have the tools and techniques, they know the specific steps to take to reveal the dreamer's mindset. Some of the tools and techniques are cut and dried. Others offer avenues for exploration, ways of leading the dreamer along a path, gently guiding their focus until the shadows come to light. You can learn how to help people understand their dreams how to guide them to explore the symbols and dramas of a dream and make the connections that lead to a rounded interpretation. With practice, you'll notice that your intuitive eye begins to rapidly spin gold, processing the tools and techniques faster than your mind can think them through, seemingly downloading the meaning of the dream from nowhere. It can be difficult to interpret your own dreams if you have a touch of denial a vested interest in not seeing the truth, 
or if the subject matter is just so close to you that you can't stand back and untangle it to gain clarity. On the rare occasions when I feel I haven't got to the very depths of one of my own dreams, I imagine it's the client's dream. I go back to square one and approach it as if it has been submitted as a dream for interpretation by email and within a few minutes I have the solution. How do you know when an interpretation is correct? Well, you feel a a subtle shifting sensation, a new sense of grounding, perhaps goosebumps, maybe shed a tear, and invariably you notice an automatic release of breath, a sigh, a sense of letting go. So I thought I'd follow that one by a blog I wrote in September 2022, also for the Dream Academy, called Finding Answers in Your Dream. So it goes a little deeper and gives you some tips. Can you find answers in your dreams? You're about to find out. (laughs) Finding Answers in Your Dreams. Every dream poses a question about your life and gifts you the opportunity to discover the meaningful answers you seek. The dream question is usually somewhere near the beginning of your dream, if you have remembered the whole dream, and it probably looks nothing like any question you're asking yourself in life. So for example, your dream might be about searching for a lost cat, in which case the dream question might be, where is the cat? Or, why has the cat got lost? Or, did I let the cat out? Or, how can I find the cat? In waking life, you might not even have a cat, but you might have a feeling that you've lost something precious, or that you're trying to find something, or that you have a sense of being lost or losing yourself in pursuit of an adventure. Your dream might use the lost cat story to explore the question of loss in your life. The Dream Academy courses show you how to identify the question or questions a dream poses. Whether the dream you are exploring is a whole dream or a tiny remembered fragment of a greater dream that evaporated with the morning light. Once you've identified the main question and related it to a situation in your waking life, you then return to the dream to look at the answers the dream explores. So in the example of the lost cat dream, (laughs) you might spend your time in the dream walking around the streets calling the cat's name or asking other people if they've seen the cat or putting a super tasty treat outside your door to entice the cat home or, given that this is a dream, asking the unicorn to find the cat and fly her home on a horn broomstick or getting down on all fours and prowling, cat-like, into a hidden cave to find the cat and nestle up beside her. See? Lots of possible dream answers to finding the cat, regardless of whether they're successful in the dream. Your job is then to translate these dream metaphors to identify the answers your dreaming mind was exploring in relation to your waking life question. But, should you follow the answers you decode from your dreams, or might they lead you up the wrong path? Now this is where it can get tricky, so let's go a little deeper. Dreams process your conscious and unconscious experiences of the last one to two days, comparing them to similar past experiences and sometimes projecting into possible future scenarios so that you can try out new approaches based on what you've learned. Ideally, a dream updates your mindset based on your latest experiences, but more often than not, your mindset refers back to your earliest experiences and decides to stick with your oldest beliefs. It can take a lot of work to shift from your foundational beliefs and move into new territory, no matter how convincingly your most recent experiences argue for change. A dream shows you how your mindset processes your life. It shows you the various ways in which you try to find answers or try to solve a problem, and it may also throw in some new ways of approaching the question if your mindset is changing. 
Your job when interpreting your dream is to uncover your unconscious mindset, those unconscious belief patterns that drive the way you try to resolve a problem or find answers to a question. In the lost cat dream example, you might discover that your unconscious pattern when feeling lost is to look for magical answers like a unicorn with a horn broomstick rather than find out why you are feeling so lost and address the issue at that level. Now, I'm oversimplifying here, but I'm sure you get the picture. The tools you learn through my online courses help you to discover these patterns and identify your blind spots when looking for answers to questions or solutions to problems in your life. The tools also help you to free yourself from these habitual patterns and blind spots and enable you to see more effective solutions or insightful answers. So a dream doesn't give you direct guidance. It gives you something much more powerful. The opportunity to identify your conscious and unconscious mindset and understand how it is affecting the way you deal with a problem and why effective answers seem to be eluding you. You are then a stepping stone away from freeing yourself from old limiting mindset shackles and seeing life in a new light. Uh, And oh yes, the occasional dream does reveal new breakthrough answers which may very well be worth following. I thought I'd follow that with a bit of inspiration. (laughs) And this is a blog called Change the World, One Dream at a Time. And I wrote this in October 2022. And this is on janetheresa.com. Change the world, one dream at a time. What if our nighttime dreams offered the potential to create real positive change in the world? Well, they do. Imagine that. Asleep in bed, being gifted everything you need to make a difference in the world, dream by dream, night by night. Now, I could argue that simply having a good eight-hour sleep each night, along with all the physiological, mental and emotional benefits that dreaming brings, whether you remember those dreams or not, is a good starting point. Rather than facing a new day short on sleep, your mind clogged and fogged by inadequate processing of your daily experiences due to skimping on healing dreaming time, a full sleep enables you to bring a refreshed self to the day ahead. But that is only a beginning. Occasional dreams can offer creative solutions to problems, as well as sparkling new ideas and inventions that can be put into action. Einstein's theory of relativity... Niels Bohr's realisation of the structure of an atom and Dmitri Mendeleev's periodic table of the elements are amongst the more famous examples of world-changing scientific ideas perceived in dreams. The rapid transformation of the textile and clothing industries from handmade to machine-manufactured products was a direct result of Elias Howe's problem-solving dream in 1846. Howe had been searching for a way to design an efficient sewing machine suitable for mass manufacture. He dreamed he was about to be killed for failing to come up with a solution when he suddenly noticed that the warriors surrounding him all had spears with a hole near the tip. That was what was needed, a hole at the eye of the sewing machine needle, not at the blunt end as was the case with a handheld sewing needle. Closer to our times, Larry Page had a world-changing dream that seeded the idea of a search engine, resulting in the birth of Google some two years post-dream development. But what of our more usual dreams, yours and mine? How can we change the world one dream at a time? Well, we too may occasionally dream of practical, potentially world-changing ideas, or our dreams may inspire us to take creative action to contribute to a better world. But we can do even more through every single dream if we take the time to understand them. The dreams we have every night invite us to understand ourselves more deeply, 
to integrate our conscious and unconscious life experiences in healing ways, to transform our inner worlds where they need positive transformation, and to nurture our deepest gifts and bring them into the light of day. Our dreams help us to accept our deepest shadows and to accept and empathize with people who we might have tarred with that same shadow brush. Our dreams help us to walk in another's shoes, to understand and empathize with other people, other cultures and other perspectives through understanding our personal unconscious perspectives and drives. Our dreams help us to grow in ways that benefit our everyday interactions with other people and the world around us. And that's a very good place to start. So having talked quite a lot in this podcast, I guess, about how to learn to interpret your own dreams, I thought I'd talk a little bit more about the first online course at the Dream Academy, which is called How to Interpret Your Dreams Step by Step. And I know I always mention it at the end of the podcast, you know, always say, well, you can consult me by Zoom, or you can read my books, or you can listen to podcasts, or you can do my online courses. But I don't think I've ever really described the online courses in great detail. And I know that many of you listening have done at least the first course, if not all four courses. But here's a little bit about uh, well, not a little bit. Here's a, here's a lot bit <laughs> about the first the first course, which is called How to Interpret Your Dreams Step by Step. So I have to say, if you do this course, there are vi- as you will hear, there are videos of me talking to you or with you in the course, but um, they are pre-recorded. So you can do this whole course without actually doing any live chats with me. You can do them in your own time at your own pace. But this is what happens if you decide to do the online course, How to Interpret Your Dreams Step by Step at the Dream Academy. You choose one of your dreams and then you follow the videos and the notes. So I basically designed this course, How to Interpret Your Dreams Step by Step, as a a system that you can use over and over again to analyze and interpret any dream. And you begin by downloading a dream interpretation chart, which I created. And then you watch the videos where you'll meet me as I talk you through your course and the steps to take. You can read the notes and follow my instructions as I guide you through filling in your dream interpretation chart. And by the end of the course, you'll have your first dream interpretation recorded on your chart. And then you can repeat as many times as you wish, going through with different dreams or nightmares until the system becomes second nature to you and you don't need the chart anymore. And at the end of this online course, you'll have the skills to meaningfully analyse, interpret and understand your dreams using the tools, resources and knowledge provided. And you get lifetime access so you can revisit the course as many times as you wish over the years, learning at your own pace in your own time. So what exactly will you learn? Well, when you do this course, you'll learn how to put a dream interpretation together by completing the step-by-step dream interpretation chart. You'll learn the skills to analyze, interpret and understand your dreams and the dreams of others. You'll learn key information about the nature of dreams and the process of dreaming, about recurring dreams, nightmares, seeing the past and the future in dreams, the role of dream symbols and dream dramas, and the question of whether dreams offer guidance. You'll learn a simple method to discover how your dream relates to your waking life. You'll learn how to identify the shadow side and trace the issue your dream is processing back to its possible origin in your life. You'll also learn how to work with unresolved dreams to resolve issues and challenges in your life now. And you'll learn a method to identify the waking life problem or question your dream is processing. You'll learn how to uncover the unconscious patterns of behavior dictated by your unconscious beliefs, feelings and memories that are directing the way you are handling a waking life problem. 
You'll learn how to use a simple dream alchemy technique to change negative patterns you identify into positive patterns that create positive outcomes in your life. And you'll learn what it means to dream of people you know and how to identify what each person represents about you and your life. You'll learn a method to identify and resolve inner conflict. And you'll learn three different key methods to discover the meaning of dream symbols, your personal dream symbols. And you'll also learn what you need to know to take advantage of the life-shaping information your dreams hold. So that's what you'll learn. What Practically speaking, does your course include? Well, you'll get more than 100 minutes of video instruction with me in nine short videos. You'll get your dream interpretation chart, which is a PDF that you can download and print out if you want. You'll get course notes, which you can read online. And again, they're PDFs, so you can download and print them out and keep. You also get detailed page notes (laughs) online. You get an end of course quiz. And you get a certificate of completion once you've passed your quiz. Now, if you don't pass the quiz the first time, you just keep doing it until you get all the answers right. And you learn from that. And then you get your certificate of completion, which you can print. And the hours of study, it's basically, most people allow eight hours or more because there are the videos to watch and the notes to read and the exercises to do and your dream interpretation chart to fill in as you go. But in the videos, I regularly ask you to just press pause and do an exercise or look at your dream or follow some directions and filling in your chart. So if you do all of this, for most people, you'll spend eight hours the first time you go through the course, focusing on one dream and ending up with a dream interpretation. And then after that, you go through the system as many times as you wish to interpret different dreams. And soon you'll find yourself able to interpret dreams quickly and efficiently without my video help and without the charts. And for those of you who don't know much about me or may be listening to this podcast for the very first time, Why should you train with me? Well, you're in safe expert hands because I've been consulting professionally as a dream analyst and dream therapist since 1992. And I trained students in dream therapy for two decades before deciding to further evolve my courses into this online format. I originally trained as a scientist and my approach to interpreting and working with dreams is both an art and a science based on my independent research and deep work with clients for over 30 years. And my long experience with the media over as many years, that's television and radio, combined with much earlier training and teaching and education, has given me the skills to design courses and communicate and teach in an effective and fun way through videos as well as through the written word. Now, while the Dream Academy courses are designed so that you can learn wholly by yourself at your own pace, in your own time, without me, I do also offer through the Dream Academy additional fee-based mentoring for those students who enjoy the luxury of extra personal support. So if you haven't done that course, it might be, well, not wipe, I can tell you it would be really worthwhile you doing it, but you might be considering it. And to give you an idea of how much it costs, it's 99 Australian dollars. And at the current exchange rate, as I'm reading this today, that translates to 66 US dollars, 55 British pounds and 64 euros. And of course, once, you pass, um, once you've done that course, it opens up to all the other courses at the Dream Academy too. Or if you just don't feel like studying and you just want to chat to me about your dream, you can consult me by Zoom or phone and you can find out information from, about that at janetheresa.com. In our normal or more usual format of the Dream Show, of course, we have a guest And the guest brings a dream, which I've never heard until the moment we press record. And then you enjoy listening to about an hour in those podcasts of the guest and I exploring their dream, interpreting the dream, relating it to their life. And um, and they're really interesting listening. So if this is the first time you listen to a podcast and you haven't experienced listening to a guest having their dream interpreted, go back through 
all of our archives and you'll hear plenty of those. And if you'd like to be a guest on a future show, if you'd like to bring a guest to explore and interpret with me, then go to janetheresa.com, go to the menu, find podcasts, the dream show, and in the drop down box, you'll find a form to fill in to say, yes, please, I'd love to be a guest on the dream show and I'll be in contact with you. I hope you've got lots from today's podcast. And if you've not got lots, I hope you've got something from today's podcast and you've enjoyed it. And this is my opportunity to wish you a happy Christmas or happy holidays um, in advance of our next podcast, episode 264, which will go out on the 29th of December 2022, if you're listening to this in real time, just in time for me to wish you a happy new year. (laughs) Thank you for listening to yet another episode of The Dream Show. I'm Jane Teresa Anderson.